So Novadam is a, is a French company based in the south of France. We've been uh, designing and manufacturing micro drones for around uh, 13 years now, uh, mainly for the defense, security and uh, industry uh, professionals. And uh, the reason of our presence uh, here at the Paris Air Show this year is uh, the fact that the Ministry of the French Armed Forces uh, acquired uh, this NX-70 solution for the first uh, deployment in operation for the Balkan operation. So around um, more than 50 systems will be uh, deployed in operation in the coming months. Uh, the main particularity of this solution is uh, it's a drone of 1 kg, 2.2 pounds, uh, with a range of 3 kilometers, an endurance of up to 45 minutes. Uh, we have encrypted data link uh, for the security of the, the transmission. Uh, we can fly in very uh, odd weather condition up to 65 km per hour by rain uh, in uh, high temperature up to 45 degrees. Uh, and other particularities of this solution is um, it can go beyond vision with a tethered solution for example. So we have several hours of observation capability with uh, the, the same drone, with the same drone. We just specialize the battery. And the other particularity is a dropping solution, uh, which means you can just change the batteries and put like a medikit, uh, a, a rope, for example, so you can go beyond vision with this solution. So the NX-70 uh, has an endurance of up to 45 minutes, uh, a range of 3.5 kilometers. Uh, the whole structure is uh, fully foldable without any tools. So in the field, it's quite easy to deploy it and uh, to put it uh, airborne. Um, at the front you can find three cameras, so you have two day cameras, one with a wide field of view and a narrow field of view, equivalent of a zoom by 10, and also a thermal camera, a 320 or 640 uh, resolution. Uh, another uh, subject is uh, we've been working with MBDA for around two years, where the drone will, um, will help the, the MMP to help for the designation uh, of uh, the target. The GPS coordinates are sent to the, uh, to the shooter and it will help to designate uh, the target beyond line of sight of the, of the shooter. And uh, what uh, is the future of Novadem? We've been, uh, we are we're trying to find some partners for the international development of the company. So we signed our first contract uh, with the police of Brussels, uh, police in Switzerland, special forces in the Netherlands, recently uh, with uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, MOD. So now we, we hope that this contract, this French reference, will help us to, uh, to sign all the contracts worldwide. Army Recognition had the chance to see here at Paris Air Show 2019 the Scarabée, the light cavalry vehicle by Arcus. Welcome to the Bourget, to the Nexter uh, stand. Uh, Nexter is a specialist in fact of different armament for different applications, in particular for the aircraft and helicopter. That is really a pleasure for me to introduce the 20mm and 30mm, used in several applications, in particular for land forces, naval applications, but uh, it's the same thing for the special forces, and in particular with the SH-20. Uh, used at this time by uh, our uh, special forces in France. We have several applications, different mounts can be used, and in particular the POD-20 used on helicopters, very easy to integrate. In several minutes, you can change the armament 
very rapidly with a specific application for the THL-20 for helicopter, just under the nose of the helicopter, for several countries in the world, and in particular Romania, for example, or India. And with uh, two specific cannon, where it's really a pleasure for me to introduce all the time the cannon of the Rafale, because it's the best cannon uh, available in the world at this time, with the best rate of firing, up to 2,500 rounds per minute. That is why it's really a reference uh, of Nexter about this point. And the last month of the THL-30 uh, used on the Tiger helicopters, where it's possible to see uh, just near the Nexter stand, uh, in the, in the Minister uh, des Armées stand, uh, with the different applications. Nexter is, also, is a specialist too of ammunition and uh, a global system, in particular for land forces. That is why we have this opportunity to introduce the Scorpion program with the several uh, new uh, vehicles, in particular Serval, very new at this time. And, uh, but it's a pleasure for me, in fact, to discuss about the Jaguar program because it's, uh, this program will use the 40 CTA cannon where we will have the opportunity to see uh, the uh, 40K telescopic ammunition presented in the, in the stand of Nexter with a specific application inside with a mock-up to show a new application for the anti-aerial uh, targets and uh, in particular uh, it's a very important for us because it's a new cooperation with Thales on a new turret, this time is a rapid fire where we hope to sign the contract this year uh, after a very very uh, uh, long development on, uh, on trials uh, with, uh, with Nexter and Thales. Uh, this opportunity to show that uh, the, 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 the best way and the best, uh, the best roadmap of the 40 CTA cannon be because it will be a new application and we hope to open a new market for our future customers in the world. During Paris Air Show 2019, Leonardo introduced its largest ever remotely piloted air system, or RPAS, the Falco Explorer. The new drone features a payload capacity of 350 kilos, more than 24 hours flight time, and a satellite communications capability for beyond radio line of site operations, all within a one ton free maximum takeoff weight. The Falco Explorer has been designed from the ground up to access the widest possible market. It is undergoing certification for flight in non-segregated airspace, meaning Leonardo will be able to pitch it to civil customers, such as coast guards and emergency responders, as well as the military market. After a series of trials throughout the year, the new RPAS could be then delivered to its launch customer as early as 2020.